here we are with Hillary and Brighton to talk about their experience with renting out their current home, securing a HELOC, and purchasing their next home. What made you guys decide to look for a new home? Well, we recently found out that we were expecting our third child and we decided that we would like to get a slightly larger house in order to accommodate the rambunctious three little boys that we have with a bigger backyard and more space to entertain. So what was your decision process when it came to deciding if you were going to rent out your current house or sell? We're evaluating, you know, what should we do? Should we sell the house? Should we? Uh, try to rent out the house and looking at the numbers, looking at the kind of rates for rentals in the area, given that we had just done a uh, refinance to get a much lower rate, I uh, felt like here's an opportunity to actually uh, have some good passive income that we can have from this house and then keep that asset and uh, it will appreciate over time and that will set us up for a uh, much better uh, financial future. So now that you decided that you wanted to keep the home, rent it out, and purchase a new home, what was your first step in this process? Well, the first step was to secure a HELOC so that we had a way to help with the down payment of purchasing the new house, which we contacted Heat and Wren um, over at Banner Bank through the help of Bradley Hansen Group. And we were able to make that connection and it was a really easy and quick process to get the HELOC set up and the paperwork signed. I would say it was a handful of emails and then we signed in person and that was all it was. You helped us run the numbers just to get a sense of like what would we need to rent it for, is that viable and with the amount of uh, income that we net on the rental, what does that mean for the financing of the of the next home? What was the biggest lesson that you learned throughout this process? I'd say the, the biggest lesson uh, that we learned from this is to reach out and contact your real estate agent and mortgage brokers because they have tools that they can use to help you accomplish your goals and it's it's not always obvious that there's actually a lot of different choices that you could make to progress forward in your financial future, but this is their world. They know, uh, they know what to do. And so leaning on their expertise was actually the thing that I learned the most. Like it's just such a valuable thing to just have the conversation, make forward steps towards the, those financial goals.